Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas. Uh, and in this video we have recorded, uh, it was actually recorded during our live stream that we do uh, this last Tuesday. So, um, you know, we do a live stream every Tuesday night, 7 p.m. Central, where we go over scheduling information, dealer news updates, recalls, and I usually have a topic of the week uh, and some other things. But more importantly, we, we answer your questions live, uh, the community's questions. So we usually have about a couple hundred people in there each week that are watching this live and asking us questions about their order or, you know, how they should order their vehicle and that kind of thing. And that's what we're here for is to help you answer any questions. So if you want to join us live uh, and, and if you have any questions about scheduling, we can answer them live for you. Also, if you drop them down below, we'll try to get those responded as well. But feel free to come back next week. Again, Tuesday night, 7 p.m. Central, if you want to join us live and ask your question, and we can answer your individual question if it hasn't been answered in the past. So I hope you guys do enjoy this video, and I hope to see you next week. All right. Uh, we're uh, ready to uh, go over some scheduling information for this week, and we are getting close to where we're kind of getting through um, most of the allocations that have been given out for retail orders uh, for – get this microphone on it out for uh, most of the month so most of you that's they usually try to schedule the first couple weeks so we're really going to be uh, talking about um, you know mainly uh, for some of this um, you know like, again early on those those allocations go out uh, for retails first with those allocations so that those are always scheduled first so right now you're going to see a lot, some of the models that aren't scheduling because they've already scheduled for their their uh, retails and their stock because uh, what usually happens if a, a dealer's getting allocations, the first thing that, that Ford wants to pull is those retail orders first and then fill in stock ones, uh, ordering and scheduling and production around to those retails. Um, and that's typically what they do. And then we've already had a couple weeks uh, of doing that. Uh, so this week we're, we're getting into like the last couple weeks. And so at this point, it's really to help dealers fill in and, and use their allocations. Like we have a few allocations that need to be used like on F-150 and Super Duty and such. Um, and for what they can schedule, that's what they're going to try to do. So let's go through and um, kind of throw out that slide first uh, and kind of go over these terminologies. If I can find my mouse. There we go. All right. So first off is uh, talking about order bank. The order bank, that is where the orders are placed by the dealer uh, for their stock in retail orders. So when you're ordering a vehicle, you're not ordering from Ford. You're actually ordering from the dealer. The dealer submits that order for you in the order bank. And a retail order is that customer placed order. So a lot of times we'll say when we talk about retail orders or stock orders, that's what we're referring to. Stock orders are uh, orders that are placed by the dealer for stock or lot inventory. Now, a priority code is given to every order. The default is 19 for retail orders and 80 for stock orders, but they can be altered uh, for a retail order. They can be anything from an 03 through a 19, and it's a way for dealers to be able to prioritize certain customers or like if an order's been overlooked several weeks and they've been waiting, you want to make that, that order a priority, then you give it a low 03 or low number. Um, and then the lower, the better. So it's like a golf score there. Um Scheduling, that's when Ford schedules an order for a production date in the future months. Usually they'll get scheduled to the week first, and then as it gets closer to that week, they'll schedule it then to the day of the week. Um, and then um, allocations, the reason we want to bring up allocations is because that's how an order is scheduled. So a, a Ford gives dealers allocations to schedule their orders. A dealer needs an allocation to schedule an order in the order bank. A dealer earns those allocations from their sales for each model within their region. Um, yeah, so most models, it's pretty easy, cut and dry. Um, yeah, I'll leave it at that. Uh, constraints, um, that is uh, options that are in short supply or may take longer to build. Um, so, and how you get a constraint is looking at the capacity. So, a uh, capacity is a planned production rate for given motor tram option and such. If there are more orders than their capacity, that's where you get that constraint. Or if a supplier cannot supply what their com original capacity was, that affects that constraint as well. Job one and two production is uh, given into two different runs uh, because if they want to re they want to introduce something new that they didn't have ready when the the new model year started, then that's a way for them to introduce that into the second half of the production run, uh, like Ford is doing on the Bronco and some things for the Ranger as well, which should be happening next week, actually. Um, and then balance out, that's the end of production for a particular model, 
trim, maybe a color, that kind of thing. So there you go. So there's the different terminologies for everything there. Uh, so if I mentioned some of those, now you know a little bit about what that is. So let's start with the 24 model year Mustang. Uh, the order banks are open up for a 24 Mustang. They plan to produce those through the end of this year uh, and into December, I believe. And currently there's uh, 609 unscheduled retail orders in the order bank for the Mustang. Um, so uh, yeah, not too bad there. They have a lot of them. They are not scheduling this week, so there are no notes in here uh, because they aren't scheduling. Uh, so they're... That's all I have for Mustang. A uh, 24 model year Escape. Uh, order banks are open up for the 24 model year Escape. Um, and there currently is 187 unscheduled orders. Not that many at all. Um, so no problems there. But they are not scheduling this week. Uh, like I said, most people, most retail orders have already been scheduled for those two models. If you have a retail order for either one of those, more than likely it won't get scheduled until they're going to start scheduling for May's. Uh, scheduling, which would be for July's uh, production. So, all right. Next is the 24 model year Bronco Sport. Order banks are open up for the Bronco Sport, including the Heritage Edition and the Free Wheeling. If you want to order those, um, there's currently only 75 unscheduled orders in the order bank for the Bronco Sport. So, because of that, really no constraints on there. There are a couple things because uh, they are scheduling this week for the weeks of 6-3 through the week of 624. Um, they're doing cleanup scheduling, which means that they have certain slots available. So they've scheduled most of the production, but for dealers that have open allocations, they want to make try to use those. So here are some of the notes for dealers to help them try to get their use their allocations. Um, they said limit availability for the big bin trim, also for the black appearance package, which is optional on the big bin. Also, the all-season tire that's standard on the big bin as well is limited. Exhaust, exhausted availability for the convenience package, which is optional on the big bin and the freewheeling, as well as the 17-inch carbonized painted high-gloss wheel that's standard on the big bin. So if a dealer has allocations to use, maybe they, they probably don't have retail orders or else they probably wouldn't schedule. There's only 75 nationwide not scheduled. Uh, but they need to use, they need to get scheduled. Um, if dealers have like big bins and all that, it may not get scheduled. So you may, as a dealer, if you're out there wanting to get, uh, you need to use those last allocations, you might look at like Outer Banks or you might look at a big bin without the convenience package, um, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, so black appearance package maybe work, but maybe the black diamond package because it has a different wheel. That might help because that wheel is constrained. So that's kind of how that kind of works for that model. Uh, next is the 24 model year Ranger. Order banks are open up, including the Ranger Raptor. But a little disclaimer there, um, a dealer needs an allocation for a Ranger Raptor. Just because they have two, three, four orders in the system doesn't mean they're waiting for them to get scheduled. Um, if they're only going to get one or two allocations for the year, um, they can put in all the orders they want to. doesn't mean they're going to get scheduled. Uh, you have to have an allocation to schedule an order. And, um, you know, right now, it really, if you're a good, if your dealer uh, sells a lot of Raptors, Bronco Raptors, F-150 Raptors, then probably they're getting Ranger Raptor allocations. Otherwise, they're probably not. So you want to try to make sure you you look at those dealers and figure that out. Um, they are, uh, there's currently only 815 unscheduled retail orders in order bank. I think it was 1,500 last week. So it, they cut that in half. Uh, last week, so not that many unscheduled Ranger orders in there. Uh, probably most of, most of those are Raptors. Uh, they are scheduling this week for the weeks of six three through the weeks of six twenty four. Um, job one balance out is uh, cleanup scheduling is happening this week, so they are moving to job two. I think next week. Um, or maybe the week after. Anyway, so they are going to be cleaning that up this month. Actually, probably job one scheduling goes through this uh, next week as well. Because um, I think the order guide is going to come out for job two. But that means they're not, they're not going to schedule that same week for job two. So probably going to have one more week of scheduling, I would assume. Now, for those dealers that have allocations, uh, maybe they don't have retail orders, but they need to, they have some stock they could schedule here. Or some, some notes if you want to use those allocations for this month. Uh, limit availability for the forged B lock capable wheel that's optional on the Raptor. So you might want to think about going with the, uh, I think that's the, op that's the optional wheel. So you might want to stay with the standard wheel there on a Raptor. Also, the advanced towing package is optional on the Lariat 4x4 is also limit availability. So you might look at, you know, maybe order an XLT 
STX or, you know, whatever. So there you go. All right. Next up is a 24 model year Bronco. Order banks are open up for about all trim levels except for the Heritage and Heritage Limited. Uh, they are not open, but all others are available for ordering. There's currently only 1,647 unscheduled retail orders. I got to make sure I see that right without my glasses. Uh, so 1,600 unscheduled retail orders for the Bronco, which is fabulous. Uh, most everybody's scheduled. There's only 13 unscheduled Everglades orders in the system. A uh, little note that I saw there. Um, yeah, not too many of, of about is it, You can really order about anything and be good to go um, because they're within capacity on about everything, which is glad to finally see that, right? Um, here's some notes on the Bronco. They are scheduling this week for the weeks of 6-3 through the weeks of 6-24. Uh, of course, this, we are talking dealers with allocations. Dealer demo allocation. They're not going to get scheduled, but dealers with allocations. Um, and this is job one, balance out, clean up scheduling. Again, trying to fill in and use those last allocations for dealers if they haven't. Um, here are some notes for dealers so they know there is no availability for the four-door Heritage Limited. If, they have a, if you have a Heritage Limited allocation, you need to order a two-door if you get an allocation. Um, I don't know if Ford will carry that allocation over to next month, so you might they might make you put that order in that way. Exhausted availability for the hardtop right now. So they've already filled in all the hardtop capacity and production that they have for this month, or for the month of June, I should say, that they've been scheduling for. So right now, they're needing cloth top orders. So if you are a dealer out there that has an, an allocation to use, you need to order a cloth top to use that allocation probably. Uh, so there you go. All right. Next is a 24 model year Maverick. Uh, order banks are open up for the Maverick, believe it or not. Um, and there's currently only 7,989 unscheduled retail orders in the order bank for the Maverick. That's pretty low. Um, of that, 60% of those are XL. 72% of the 7,900, that's just rounded up to 8,000, is hybrid as well. So you can tell. Well, I'm going to talk about next year in just a little bit. All right. So some notes on Maverick. They are scheduled this week for the weeks of 6-3 through the weeks of 6-24. Again, this is cleanup scheduling. So this would be dealers with allocations that haven't been used for those retail orders. And maybe they have, um, you know, they can't get any more retail. Or they might have some retail orders. But because of the retail orders and what they are, they're not scheduling. But if you have an allocation, they're going to want to try to schedule a stock one then instead. Um, which I know it's difficult to understand, but you saw how many hybrid and XL orders there are. They need some of the other type of orders. So let me read the notes here. Um, it says limit availability for the hybrid, also for the spray and bed liner, um, and also the optional spray and liner, not the one that comes in your Lariat package. Also the tire that's on the XL XLT, the 225-65R17 as well. Um, exhausted availability for the XL, as well as the two-wheel front, the front-wheel drive, basically. Um, and then also the black appearance package, it's optional XLT and Lariat. The modular hard drop-in liner, it's optional, not the one that's included in the XLT Lux package. And then the bed extender, which is optional on all series. So basically, they've already figured in what production they have for those things. And so then when they say exhausted, that means they really don't can't fill in too many more because they're almost at capacity on those things. So if you have one an allocation that needs then you need to get scheduled, you probably need to look at an EcoBoost. You probably need to look um, at one not with a parents package and also no optional bed liners, right? Um, and then no bed extenders. So if you're needing that allocation, no XL as well. So uh, that's what you want to look at. So that'd be a dealer that has maybe a, an allocation, no retail orders. They need a stock order. You need to put in a, probably an, a, an EcoBoost order if you wanted to get use that allocation. Uh, probably all uh, Trevor would be the best case scenario in my opinion. But there you go. All right. Next is the twenty four no twenty five model year Explorer. Order banks are open up for the Explorer, um, and there's currently only four hundred and eight unscheduled retail orders for the Explorer right now. They are scheduled for the weeks of 6-3 through the week of 6-24. Cleanup scheduling, again, just like with the other notes, that means dealer has allocations to use. Um, then they're trying to fill in and use those allocations 
uh, here are some of the, the the notes they're telling dealers that they need to try to adhere to to get that allocation used for an order. Um, they are needing, um, they encourage dealerships to uh, to choose the 64X wheel. That is an 18-inch sparkle silver painted wheel that's standard on active. Um, also, limit availability for the 3.0 EcoBoost, also the active series, and the 20-inch luster nickel painted aluminum wheel, which is standard on the Platinum. Exhausted availability for the 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine. That's very confusing. I'll talk about that in a second. Also, exhaust availability for the ST line, the ST, and the Platinum. Also, the 21 inch Magnetite uh, painted aluminum wheel, which is standard on ST, including ST line and street package. And the 21 inch dark alloy polished wheel that's included in the Ultimate package on the Platinum, as well as a 20 inch carbonized gray painted 10 spoke that's available on the active four wheel drive. So it's it's a little confusing because exhaust availability for the two three, well the, okay, well the other engine available on the Explorer is the 3.0. Well, that's limit availability. So they're, it's kind of, it's kind of, uh, sometimes that makes it really difficult for dealers to understand for it. So um, anyway, so what should we order, right? At this point. So probably need to look for like a, a platinum, but then again, you can't have the standard platinum because the wheels exhausted or limited, <laughs> right? And so you got to look at that. And then even the wheel that's on the ultimate package is exhausted. So you're probably better off going with the limit availability option, which is a standard wheel on that, and then go with the 3.0 EcoBoost because that's limited, not exhausted. It gets a little tricky when you're a dealer trying to figure out how to use your allocations if they didn't get used. So, um, all right. Next up is the 24 model year expedition. Order banks are open up right now. There's currently only 219 unscheduled expedition orders in the order bank. Not too many in there. Um, they are not scheduling this week, so there are no notes there. Um, that's expedition. Um, I think expedition is going to be probably seeing, we're going to see 2025 here shortly. That's just, I don't have any confirmation of that. Nobody's told me anything. It's just uh, last time it was summertime like July when these, when they opened up the order banks. So I expect uh, expedition. Uh, we should get some information on 25 uh, soon, hopefully. All right. 24 model year mock E uh, order banks are open up uh, for this, uh, for, the, uh, for all trim levels. Um, it does say a note in here. It says retail job two expected to open April 20th or April 30th. Sorry. Uh, any updates or changes will be communicated. So their plan is to get, to go to job two, um, April 30th. So we'll see what that order brings. So next week we're actually, uh, going to be looking at a couple different order banks, I believe, um, some job two order bank order guides. So we'll probably be looking at the mach -E and the Bronco and the Ranger. So it could be a busy week next week uh, going over those. Um, they are scheduling this week. Oh, wait. Um, there's currently only 15 unscheduled retail orders in the order bank for the mach -E. They are scheduling this week for the weeks of 6-3 through the weeks of 6-24. It is, it is job one, balance out, clean up scheduling. So they'll probably have this week and next week to balance out. They may not schedule next week. They might just try to finish it out this week. But there you go. All right. Before moving on to Super Duty. All right, 24 model year Super Duty order banks are open up right now. There's currently 14,420 unscheduled retail orders in the order bank. Um, they are scheduling this week at Kentucky for the weeks of um, 513 through 527 and for Ohio for the week of 617. And uh, let's see here. Uh, of course, same notes uh, for dealers are needing some F250 350 XL and XLT orders with the 6.8 liter without the heavy duty alternator with the hitch prep package, the fifth wheel. Um, so they're needing them, you know, with just one, with one or the other. Also, they also need the 7.3 liter orders uh, without the fifth wheel gooseneck hitch prep package 53W. Um, and then uh, let's see here. Also, they also are needing some spray and bed liners. So if you want a, a top bed spray and liner, uh, it should be okay to order that because it looks like they need production to happen at that facility. Uh, limit availability for the 6.7 liter high output power stroke diesel engine. Also for the fuel tank, uh, the OBKRQ fuel tank that is included in the 6.7 liter 
um, Power Stroke diesel engine on the XL, XLT, or Lariat pickup or chassis cabs on the F350, 450, 6, 550, and 600 um, with 65Z. Also, the fuel tank that's included in the 7.3 liter um, V8 engine that's on the XL, XLT, or Lariat pickup or chassis cab F350, 450, 550s, and 600s, also with 65Z. Also, limited availability for the F350. Uh, also, the crew cab. haven't seen that in a while. And the lug nut cap that's available on the XL, Lariat, King Ranch Platinum, 4x4s, 250s, and 350 single rear wheels um, with the 10.5, 11.6, and 11.8 axles, as well as lug nut cap that's available on the XLT, XL, Lariat, mentions XL again, F250, F350, single reel, 4x4s. That's this, the, uh, the 11.6 and 11.8 axles. Um, and then the 4x4 Dana front axle that's available on F450 and 550 is also uh, limited. That's that's going to hurt the 450s there because that is the that's probably what's going to be on most 450s. Also, the 203-inch wheelbase fuel tank with the low sulfur diesel fuel. I did notice um, last week it was really weird that we had some F450 four fifty orders that were previewing on Friday after they'd scheduled, which I thought was unusual. They didn't schedule any of them. Um, but this week so far today, I don't see any of those orders previewing today. So I know Henry's in the chat or in, in our on our live stream. And uh so that is not your order is not previewing this week. So anyway, kind of weird. But it could tomorrow. We'll see how things go because sometimes they'll they'll preview different orders on different days. All right. Next is the 2024 Model year F-150. Order banks are open up for the F-150, but not the Lightning. I've been kind of been leaving out the Lightning, so I'm going you know, to be make that sure I'm specific on that. Um, order banks are not open up for the Lightning. Um, they are scheduling. Uh, this, there's only currently only 6,030 unscheduled retail orders in the order bank. And um, they are scheduled this week for the week of 610. Um, and then they do, don't forget, if you have the tow haul package, you need to make sure you have the max tow axle. That's either uh, XL5 or XL7. XL5 is a 355 max tow electronic locking uh, rear axle. Uh, and XL7 is a 373 uh, max tow electronic locking rear axle. You got to make sure those are on your order if you have the tow haul package or it won't get scheduled. Unlimited availability for the STX block appearance package, which looks really cool. Also, limited availability for the 2.7 liter V6 EcoBoost and um, also limited availability for the 5.0, 3.5, and the 2.7 dual exhaust. So I think that's your black appearance package. Um, and then limited availability for the tough bed spray and liner. So there you go. Nothing else to note there. Um, on the Lightning, uh, they are shipping out the Lightnings. But they still have not opened up the order banks anymore for the Lightnings. So they're down to, I think, one shift at the Lightning facility. So uh, 24 model year transit order banks are open up. Uh, there's currently only 5,576 5, unscheduled retail orders in the order bank for the transit. They are scheduling this week for the week of 610. Uh, it is job one balance out cleanup scheduling. So they're going to have job two as well. We have a lot of order guides to look at. Um, and the only thing in here is limit availability for the heavy duty front axle. That's 41 E. Other than that, there's no other constraints on there, um, but they're going to try to balance out job one for the transit as well. So that is all of our scheduling information for this week. So if you're in the live chat, We'll take your questions. If you're watching this recorded, drop those down in the comments. Try to get to those as soon as we can. And uh, if you are watching the recorded version, you can come over and watch it live with us and ask your questions live so we can answer those. So for those that are live, Sarah, back to you.